anyway, all right, let's go to uh, let's go to the Wall Street Journal, and of course, the Wall Street Journal is 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 well, it, it is it is what it is. All right, so the Wall Street Journal. This is uh, this the headline here is "Our Lord Isn't Woke." Southern Baptists clash over their future. Now, before I even like even get get into this a little bit, um, this seems to me like propaganda, <laughs> propaganda, like uh, right. Uh, of course, uh, putting a pitting a cultural war against a religion in particular. And again, like I said, I'm not. As you guys know, I'm not particularly a religious dude. Uh, I'm you know, but I will fight for your right to be so. And I truly believe we have the right to be wrong in that capacity as part of that freedom of speech thing, right? That that damn freedom of speech thing that uh, so many people don't want us to have. But I think it's it's important if, uh, our right to be wrong and be able to say these things and consider things that may or may not be conspiracies because of course yesterday's conspiracy is tomorrow's war propaganda so as it goes yeah our lord isn't woke evangelical christians were a regular presence in the trump white house oh they laid hands on the president as they prayed for him stood at his at his shoulder as he signed the executive orders and saw vindication for their support in his anti-abortion policies and conservative judicial appointments now the Southern, ba- uh, the Southern Baptist Convention, the country's largest and most influential evangelical denomination, is at war over what direction it will take after the Trump presidency. Uh, one faction argues the SBC should step back from its role in electoral policy, uh, politics in order to broaden its reach and reverse a 15-year decline in membership. Another faction says the denomination has been drifting to the left, and the way to retain and attract members is to recommit to its conservative roots and stay politically engaged. Each side accuses the other of straying from SBC's core mission. Now, no matter how you slice this, uh, they're basically crapping on the Southern Baptists. And, you know, again, like, like I, I hate really... Uh, labeling anybody in such huge groups and maligning huge groups like this. It's its irresponsible. It's grotesque. It's as bad as being racist or anything else, in my opinion. It's like saying all cops are terrible. It, it, it's, it's ignorant. It's ignorant. Just like saying all Southern Baptists are terrible, right? And, of course, the, the Trump, Trump connection and... Anyway, like I said, thanks Wall Street Journal for some bullshit propaganda. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm sure there are some very nice Southern Baptists out there, so... Just saying, just saying. 